Well, Novak, congratulations on reaching the final of the World Tour Finals. This is the um, second time, really, in recent years. You've finished the year really, really strongly. Where is the energy coming from? Well, it's, it's a great motivation and inspiration to be part of such a prestigious event where the best players in the world are, are, are playing. And, um, you, you know, it was a very long year for all of us, very successful for many players. But, you know, we all try to give our best at the, at the last week of the season. And how important is it for you as the year-end number one to finish with a title? <clears throat> well, that, <laughs> that would be definitely uh, uh, a cherry on the, on, on the cake for sure. But, uh, look, you know, it's, all, it's already a great success reaching the finals. I never reached the finals here in London, uh, but uh, I don't want to stop you know, stop here and be satisfied with, uh, with finals. I, I really want to try to give my best tomorrow, uh, physically and mentally, and, uh, and find, find my way through to the title. Would it confirm you as the best player of the season, do you think? Because it has been an amazing year yeah. with all four of you winning major titles. Well, that's, uh, <clears throat> that, that was a very interesting uh, um, fact for, for our sport, is that we didn't have for many years the four different Grand Slam winners, and it was quite even, you know, with Andy winning Olympic Games and Roger winning some some other top uh, top tournaments and myself had a also also very successful a very uh, consistent year so um, I, I leave I guess the the uh, judgment and calculations to to other people to to say who was the best but uh, you know just having the uh, opportunity to fight for a trophy here in London is is already great for me and uh, and for my team and being number one of the world also at the end of the year is. Uh, is a huge achievement that we are very proud of it. And we leave this season with so many great memories that, that you, all the top players have given us. But if we think back to Melbourne in January, so much has gone since, but that, I think, was the best thing of the year. You winning those two matches back to back against Andy in five hours, then Rafa in six hours. Yeah, are those memories still strong? Very strong. Uh, probably highlight of, of, of my uh, 2012 season. Um, had a lot of... Uh, um, interesting tournaments and experiencing throughout this year, but uh, definitely Melbourne back-to-back uh, -back, uh, playing 11 hours, two matches is something that uh, I will remember forever. Um, so and it would be the next day. <laughs> well, when you win a trophy and uh, such an important Grand Slam trophy, you really don't really uh, pay attention too much on, on, on your physical uh, state. So uh, I was I was enjoying enjoying very much, and it would be fantastic to to end the year the way I started.